Ever wished your photos could be ready at the snap of your fingers? Well, we're about to make that a reality with something called latent consistency models, or simply LCMs. And guess what? We're adding a sprinkle of magic with LCM LoRa's, the secret sauce to supercharging how we create images in the blink of an eye. So get ready to kick your image creation into high gear. But hey, before we dive into the fun stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You won't want to miss the next wave of tech tips coming your way. All right, let's dive in and crank up the speed on your image game. We're talking about these things called LCM LoRa's, and they act like speed boosters for creating images in stable diffusion. To get your hands on these LCM LoRa's, head over to the official Latent Consistency Models page on Hugging Face. I'll make sure to drop the links in the description for you. On this page, you'll find the LoRa models for Stable Diffusion XL, Stable Diffusion 1.5, and SSD-1B. If you're curious, there's also a paper available at the bottom. It has all the official details, including an abstract and a PDF version. Since the paper is a bit technical, let's get back to the LoRa models page where we will proceed by downloading a LCM LoRa. For this guide, we're going to use the Stable Diffusion 1.5 LCM LoRa. Simply click on that one, then navigate to Files and Versions to find the Safe Tensors file. Click on the Download option, and after the LCM LoRa is saved, consider customizing its name to align with your version. Open your Downloads folder and modify the file name to LCM underscore SD 1.5 dot Safe Tensors, assuming you have the SD 1.5 version downloaded. If you have the SDXL version, make sure to adjust the name accordingly. Just like when you download standard LoRa's, you'll need to move the downloaded file to the LoRa Models folder, as demonstrated here. Alright, now that you've got your hands on those LCM LoRa's, let's put them to work and supercharge your image creations in Stable Diffusion. Here's the simple breakdown. Start by opening the Stable Diffusion web UI. Once you're there, head to the Text to Image tab. Under the Prompt section, look for a sub-tab called LoRa. Click on that, and there you have it. All your downloaded LoRa's are ready and waiting. Pick the LCM LoRa you want to use. Let's go with the LCM SD 1.5 LoRa for our example. Click on it, and like magic, it joins your prompt with a weight of 1. If you want to learn more about the basics of regular LoRa's, check out our guide on stable diffusion LoRa's. Now, let's keep things moving. Now that our LCM LoRa's are in play, let's talk about some critical settings to streamline your image generation process. First on the list is sampling steps. Traditionally, we'd use about 25 to 50 steps for a good quality image, sacrificing speed for smoothness. However, with LCM LoRa's, you can now cut that down to a quicker one to eight steps, significantly reducing the time it takes for your images to appear. As outlined in the blog article, they conducted tests on image generations using the LCM LoRa with steps ranging from one to eight. The results suggest that aiming for four to eight steps is key to preserving top-notch quality, as demonstrated here. Now, let's go back to the Stable Diffusion web UI and set our sampling steps to eight. Moving on to the next setting on our list, let's talk about the CFG scale. This one is all about deciding whether to include or exclude certain keywords from your prompt. According to the findings in the blog article, a CFG scale of 1 means it focuses on the positive part of your prompt, while a CFG scale of 2 includes a bit of the negative. They've also noted that larger CFG values aren't effective, so it's best to keep the CFG scale between 1 and 2. In our example, we'll stick with a CFG scale of 1, meaning the negative prompt will be excluded, so no need to fill that in. Alright, let's talk about making your prompts stand out, especially when dealing with that lower CFG scale. Crafting the right prompt is like giving your computer a roadmap to create the perfect image. Here are some tips to guide you. Tip number one, keep it concise. Short and sweet prompts work wonders. Tip number two, keyword weight. Assign more weight to the keywords you want to shine in your image. This is crucial, especially with a lower CFG scale. Now, let's turn theory into practice with an example. Imagine you want an image of a woman in space. A prompt like Portrait of Woman in Space, Stars would be spot on. To amplify the significance of stars, 
simply highlight the keyword and press the Alt key along with the arrow up key to give it more weight. Now let's choose a checkpoint. For this particular generation, we'll opt for the Tune You checkpoint, delivering a cartoon style look. Following that, ensure to select Euler A as the starting sampling method. Keep in mind that when using the LCM LoRa, not every sampling method guarantees high quality outputs. We'll explore this aspect in a later section and delve into how to ensure the right sampling method for superior image quality. Now, let's hit generate and witness the swiftness of this image creation. And just like that, the images will keep streaming in. Image generation has never been faster. So how much of a speed boost do these LCM LoRa's really offer? Well, the blog article has a benchmark section where they break down the analysis. Keep in mind though, these benchmarks are done with the SDXL LCM. But hey, let's take a closer look at the significant speed differences. On the left, you'll notice the speeds with just four steps, while on the right, it's compared to 25 steps. And check out the Mac computers at the top, boasting almost a 10 times speed increase. Now that we've established that LCM LoRa's can notably enhance image generation speed, let's shift our focus to testing how to strike the right balance between speed and quality. For quality considerations, it's wise to experiment with different sampling methods using an XYZ plot. This ensures that the checkpoint you're using is paired with the optimal sampling method for the best balance between speed and image quality. Now let's dive into experimenting and testing different sampling methods using the XYZ plot. Scroll down in the Stable Diffusion Web UI, and let's open up the XYZ plotting script together. Here's the step-by-step -step guide. Now let's get practical and fill in the X-type with the samplers we want to compare. Stick with me as we input the sampling methods for comparison. This step is crucial as it sets the stage for our analysis, allowing us to see how different methods perform. So, let's take a moment to input these choices, ensuring each sampler is considered in our comparison. For the Y type, we'll fill in the CFG scale using the values 1, 1 1.5, and 2. This sets up an XY plot, allowing use to compare sampling methods against the CFG scale. Once everything is filled in, let's scroll to the top and click Generate, and of course, Ensure you still have the LoRa embedded in your prompt. Now that we've completed the XY plot, it's evident that certain sampling methods may not be the best fit when paired with our chosen TuneU checkpoint. This quick analysis using the XY plot provides a clear view of what works and what doesn't. So, before jumping to conclusions about image quality, it's wise to run an XY plot to identify the optimal sampling methods for your selected checkpoint. With this test concluded, we'll also bring our video to a close. Thanks for watching. Be sure to explore our other videos and catch you in the next one. Peace.